लेवन स्टैंडार्ड इंग्लिश फिगार अफ स्पीच पोएटिक डिवाइस जस्ट वी हाव टू आईडेंटिफाई दैट पोएम लाइन्स वट वट इज दट पार्ट अफ द फिगार्स अफ स्पीच ओके फिगार स्पीच इज य डिपार्चर फ्रम द अर्डिनरि फर्म अफ एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज द एक्सप्रेशन और द अर्डिनरि कोर्स अफ आइडिया इन आर्डर टू प्रड्यूस अ ग्रेटर एफेक्ट so it called as figures of speech that is a poetic device always okay so two types of uh, sentence topic we will give figures of speech otherwise poetic device first simile how will you identify that from this poem lines the simile a simile is a figure of speech that makes a comparison that is a direct comparison Simile is a figure of speech that makes a comparison, showing similarities between two different things. A simile draws resemblance with the help of the words like "are" "as." For example, "cute as a kitten." "As." Okay, the clue word "like" or "as." If we have this sentence, just we can use the figure of speech that is simile, like or "as." Okay, so this is direct comparison. It compares two object with the connective words like and as. So this is important for the simile like or as. Uh, more examples for simile. She all she sways like a flower, like a flower. She skims like a bird. She hangs like a star. She falls like a tear. His tempo was as explosive as a volcano. As explosive as so okay. So what I have said, like or as. So that is that um, direct comparisons. Okay, the two from two objects. It compares two objects. Okay, so it called as simile. His tempo was as explosive as a volcano. Uh, wise as and old. Wise as as no. So that's a simile. As and old. My dog is as smelly as dirty socks. So uh, this pizza is as cold as ice. As cold as ice. So it called as simile. So we can easily identify that figures of speech. What is the simile? That's all as or like. So that is direct comparison. Okay, so uh, two objects with the connective words like or as. Metaphor. How will you identify the metaphor? The definition definition of your metaphor is similar to the definition of a sim simile, but there is one important difference between the two. Remember, the definition of simile has two parts. Two unlike things are being compared. The words like or as are used to make the comparison the, the simile is direct comparison but metaphor indirect comparison that's all that differentiate what is the differentiate between simile and metaphor simile is a direct comparison and metaphor is indirect comparison so here there will also be two parts to the definition of metaphor metaphors and simile the, the, that uh, differentiate use the following examples to figure out the definition of metaphor simile mike is like a teddy bear so that is direct comparison mike is as soft as a teddy so that also direct comparison teddy bear metaphor mike is a teddy bear so indirect comparison that boy is like a big like a big okay what i have said like or as okay so we can easily identify that simile that boy is as messy as a big so simile metaphor that boy is a big so indirect comparison okay metaphor and simile that's uh, simile is direct comparison metaphor indirect comparison next alliteration uh, it is the repetition of the initial consonant sound in a single poetic line it called as alliteration is derived from latin's word uh, latera it means letters of alphabet it is a stylistic device in which a number of words having the same first consonant sound 
For example, sound occur close together in a series. Sound occur close together in a series. For example, Alice and eight apples and accounts around August. Alice and eight a a apples a and a accounts a around a August a. So that is what what I have said here. Alliteration it is the repetition of the initial consonant sound in a single poetic line. It called as alliteration. Okay, next. Alliteration is the repetition of beginning consonant sound such as so here for example six silly swans went swimming in the sea. So these are alliterations. Initial repetition of the consonant sounds. It's important to note that. Not every word in the sentence has to begin with the same letter in order for it to be considered alliteration. In the above example, only five out of eight words begin with an yes. Next, personification. Personification investing attributing human qualities to non-living things. Is a figure of speech in which a thing, an idea, or an animal is given human attributes. The non-human objects are portrayed in such a way that we feel they have the ability to act like human beings. For example, the stars danced playfully in the moonlight sky. The stars danced playfully. The star danced. It belongs to human beings. Stars danced playfully in the moonlight sky. So, okay, just investing, attributing human qualities to non-living things. Just you have to compare. Okay, it called as personification. For example, the willow tree shook her long hair. The willow tree shook her long hair. Shook, shake, shook. Past tense. Okay. So it belongs to human qualities, but here uh, they have compared here willow tree. So that is personification. For ex explanation, the example is referring to the way that the willow trees long branches sway in the wind. By saying shook her long hair, the trees is given characteristics of a human. The trees is given. Characteristics of a human, the human qualities compared to non-living things. It called as personification. Next, hyperbole. Hyperbole is a major exaggeration or overstatement. The overstatement, if it is give it the poem lines, it called as hyperbole. Authors use this figure of speech to emphasize a point or art humor. To emphasize your point over stress that particular lines if it is give the poem lines it called as hyperbole for example I nearly died laughing I nearly died that is overstatement okay it called as hyperbole next on oxymoron on a poetic device that is a figure of speech the oxymoron uh, is the use of two words or phrases having opposite meaning if there is an opposite meaning in the poem lines, it called as oxymoron. So we can easily identify that figures of speech. So commonly we have to use that poetic device or figures of speech. So we can use that simile, metaphor, personification, oxymoron, hyperbole, and alliteration. Okay. So that is very important of this poem. That is poetic device. Okay. Thank you.